Let's go ahead and take a look at the communication tab. This is a very important tab and it begins with send an email. Notice you're going to see five different tabs within the send email function. The first one is the inbox tab. As you click on inbox, you're going to see who sent you an email, the subject, the date, and you'll also be able to click on view and see the basic information from the email. On the sent tab, you're going to see everything that you sent out, the subject, the date it was sent out. You can also view the information here, or you could preview different things that are being sent. So if you want to view the information in the email, you can come here and then you have the basic information, who it was sent to and the type, their role, the emails that they have and the status. So this is very, very helpful. The other thing you can do is you click on the icon and you can preview the email that was sent. So we've covered the inbox, the sent. Let's skip over to template. Template is basically a tool for you to customize the way that your emails look. By importing a JPEG file, you can actually add a template and change the look of your emails. By selecting add a template, you can give it a title, you can upload a file, there's a 20 megabyte limit, and then you have to make sure it's 600 by 111. These are the supported files. Once you browse and upload it and you select add, then you can easily add this template file to your emails. We do have a default one for Imagine Mobile Church, but hey, I'm sure you want to add your own, right? Now, if you want to schedule an email, all you have to do is click on schedule and schedule email. Once you click on schedule and schedule email, again, here's the template. If you want to remove the template, that's already defaulted. Scheduling for who? Is it for a user, one or more users, for groups, one or more groups? What's the scheduling type? Is it a one-time email or is it an email that you're going to send over and over again? This is very, very helpful. Now you can schedule the date and the time for the email to go out. You can put the subject. You can add several different attachments here. You can attach it on top or leave it alone and it'll automatically attach below. And then you can navigate and control the size of the image, small, medium, or large. Here in the message box, you can do several different things. You can change the style, the font, the format, the size, and you can add color. If you want to add a hyperlink, you can do that. You can use a source code and copy and paste HTML if you'd like to get that fancy. Or you can import images and embedded images into this so that you can have some great looking emails. So this is what you would do when scheduling an email. Now, let's go back to send email. We've already coupled a couple of these points here, but when you click on send email, this will go to this tab here. Again, you can access the schedule your email and you're gonna see much of the same information in a different design. So the ideal is still the same. You can send an email from here to people or you can go to the manage groups page and send emails to groups. Either way you do it, the principles are still the same. And we want to help you send email quickly and efficiently for all your people. So that takes care of the manage email tab from the communication setting.